is Laura Greed and I'm a member of Queen's Park Robin Hill Church and Jane Haining came to Glasgow um, to work in, in the business world and uh, because she rented rooms in Pollock Shields she came to this church to be a member and was a very active member. She was um, a teacher in the Sunday school. She was also very interested in uh, a, a committee that the Church of Scotland had at that time, the Mission to the Jews. And it was uh, through her interest in that committee that she applied to be the house mother of the children in the Church of Scotland, a home attached to the church in Budapest. Well, first of all, I think she followed her beliefs. I think she was tremendously interested in children, although she didn't have any children of her own. I think those, um, particularly the little Jewish girls who were in her care in Budapest, became her family. Um, I think she must have been a lady who stuck to her principles because at the beginning of the war she was asked along with other foreign missionaries or people to come home and she said no she would stay with her children in Budapest. Now that must have taken quite quite a lot of courage although at that time I don't think she knew what was going to happen to her but um, I just I just think if people followed some of her principles, the world would be a much better place. In 1987, there was a, a, a pilgrimage to the Holy Land led by the then minister, the Reverend Norma Stewart. And on the free day in Jerusalem, she and I went up to Yad Vashem. Now, this was before the end of communism, but um, we felt it was only right that Jane Haining was acknowledged as a righteous Gentile for what she, she had sacrificed her life, mainly because of her connection with Jewish children. And we went into this room and we were interviewed. We were interviewed by a Jewish gentleman and we told the story as we knew it of Jane Haining. And at the end of the time, he said, I'm sorry, I can't take your word for it. We were quite, well, not quite, very disappointed at that. However, he said, we will have to check all you've said and then we'll decide. And we came away and we really didn't think too much more about it. But 10 years later, in 1997, we got word from the, the Israeli ambassador in London that he was coming up to Glasgow and yes, they had checked our story and they had found eight elderly ladies who had been children in the care of Jane Haining. And she was to be presented with a medal, obviously posthumously, but that medal was presented to her stepsister, who was now a lady in her 80s, who took it back to Ireland where she stayed, showed it to the people there and then handed it back to the Museum of Religion, where it is to this day, along with a certificate saying that yes, Jane Haining was remembered in the Avenue of Righteous Gentiles. 